What's up guys, does this look familiar to you? Today was a big test day. Tested everything in the tank. Things are looking alright. Um, I do got to raise my DKH, my alkalinity sum. I'm sitting at 7.8 right now, which isn't terrible. Everything else is doing really well. I got a little bit of nitrates, but that's to be expected after pretty much dumping all those fish and corals in there. Um, and I'm going to clean the refugium out. Uh, I remember my last video, I think it was the plumbing video. Um, I had a whole bunch of detritus in there. So uh, yeah, this is a... Uh, this is my Red Sea test kit here. This is for my calcium, alkalinity, and magnesium. Um, and then I got the HANA checker for my alkalinity. Um, I did this because all the uh, alkalinity test kits out there are major royal, big time pain in the ass to uh, read um, the color differences. So I just decided to uh, go with the HANA checker. And I actually put the HANA checker up against my uh, Red Sea alkalinity test, and it was actually fairly matched it was it wasn't far off at all but this makes it so much easier and then of course the good old API um, nitrate nitrite pH and ammonia um, the first time I tested um, came up with these numbers pretty much but then it said that I had uh, I think it was like four what was it 2.5 or 2.5 0.50 ppm of ammonia and I went, oh, no way. So, guys, just don't be afraid to test twice. Once I did the second and third test, um, the two tests after the first one came back as zero ammonia. Um, coming over to the tank, I noticed when I take the filter socks off, the tank gets cloudy. Um, it's going to look really blue, so I guess this is kind of worthless. But I noticed that when I take the filter socks off, the uh, tank looks really cloudy, and I think it's because, I don't know, it's not catching any particulate. I look in the sump, I don't see any microbubbles coming through, so I don't know. Sorry guys, it's going to be really washed out. And then another thing I wanted to ask you guys if I could get your support on is I entered in the, the uh, bulk reef supply contest, and the contest is actually on the best DIY. Um, I entered this tank build. Um, so if you guys could support it, um, that would be amazing. Um, I'll try to put a link in the description if it'll let me to the BRS reefer challenge thing. And um, maybe I can just link you guys straight to it. Let me see if I can't pull it up real quick and I'll show you exactly what it looks like. Catching up on some of my JW's Wise Heiser, his tattoo video. This is what I do when I test and do things for the fish tank. I catch up on people's vids. <laughs> so let's go to Facebook. Type in bulk reef. Reefer challenge. This is how you get to it, guys. Once you get to their Facebook page, you'll click right here on the reefer challenge. And then this is the theme for this month is Reef Tank DIY. Of course I entered this one. And as you scroll down, you'll see my tank right here. Somebody actually voted on it, but this is mine right here, my build. It'll be under Andrew. All right. I'd appreciate it if you guys would be able to support it. If not, if you're entered in it, I completely understand. Uh, the more votes, the better. I could really use it, uh, use the prize winnings. And I uh, have a video for you guys tomorrow. got a water change coming up, so pretty awesome. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next one. This was just a quick video for today. Sorry the tank is uh, blued out. I wasn't expecting on showing it, so I didn't turn the blues off. But uh, all right, guys, later.